No peeking. Hey guys, so today I wanted to go through my makeup collection and storage with you guys. A couple people requested it on um, Instagram, so I figured I'd just share with you guys. Now by no means is my makeup collection huge or my storage fancy, but I wanted to show you guys anyway, so voila. This is what it looks like. Um, shout out to Ikea for my Alex drawers that everybody has and my table also from Ikea and my lights and my mirror are also um, from Ikea along with this really cute um, art display thing. I just sat it up there because I have nowhere else to put it and I didn't want to put any holes in the walls right now so I'm kind of just sitting it up there. The bulbs I got for this are actually from um, Home Depot. So you can get those from there. Okay, so right here I have um, my mirror. And I got this one like 85 years ago from Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe. Uh, they probably still have it. So it has, you know, the regular um, zoom on this side. And then this one has like the 10 times zoom. And then it also, you know, lights up but it's unplugged right now so these babies right here are my brushes that need to be cleaned that need a bath so these are my most used brushes right here I'm just sitting in there because I need to wash them um, these are my other brushes I pretty much have a lot of Sigma a lot of Mac Sephora um, here and then this glass thing I got from Michaels um, back here I have some makeup brush cleaners. This one I just bought. It's the Cinnamon Secrets one. It's supposedly really, really good. So I can't wait to try that. And then right here I have my MAC one. I don't really like it too much. I have tried it as you can see. And it's not my favorite. But um, I don't know. I'll give it another go. Let's see. Back here I have an extra um, all-nighter spray. I have this makeup pouch from Forever. I mean from Sephora. Travel light, live big. I have some extra makeup cleaners, remover wipes. These are from Neutrogena. These are my absolute favorite. Um, and then this I have not tried yet, actually. The MAC uh, Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. I have to try that. Um, <clears throat> these are my MAC palettes. So I have three of them. I'll show you in a second. This right here is a nail polish remover from Rite Aid. You just kind of like stick your finger in it and move it around and it takes your polish off in like 2.5 seconds. This is the castor oil that I've been using on my eyelashes. Um, I have noticed a little bit of a difference, nothing huge, but I'm going to keep using it. And then my Mario Budescu drying lotion. This is in case you have any like a pimple or something, you put it on there and supposedly dries it out within, you know, 24 hours. So I love that. So let me show you my MAC palette which is my colorful palette. I kind of bought these things from um, Office Depot and then I just wrote the names on them so it's easier to know which color is which. So I have all those right there. Okay, this is my more neutral palette right here. So there's a lot of warm shades in here, some cool tones. And then I have another neutral palette because of course you can never have enough neutrals, right? So I have that one right there. Okay, so this is my Neutrogena makeup wipe holder. I just keep them right in there. This stuff I just bought and I'm absolutely in love with it. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. If you haven't tried this already, I definitely suggest you go try it. Um, it'll make your skin super soft, very, very plump. Um, it's just amazing. You guys gotta try it. So I have uh, all my palettes right here. If you guys know any way to store your palettes better, please leave a comment down below and let me know because I really don't know any other way but to just like stack them like that. So <clears throat> let's see, my NARS Eater Brush, I have a four shadow palette. This came out with a collection a while ago, it was called, it's called Call Me Bubbles. Okay, no. Okay, so Call Me Bubbles and I have some Urban Decay palettes right here. Um, my Naked Basics, my Tarte Palette, 
my favorite bronze right now, Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is fantastic. My Becca palette, Tartlet. My Stila palette, Kat Von D, Urban Decay. So I have all those kind of just stacked up right there. Now I'm not gonna know how to put them back. Let me see. Oh well. The Artist palette. This one just actually released again. So that one's right there. I have some Urban Decay, the Ammo palette, my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, right here, Amrazy palette, and the Maya Mia palette. I have my NARS Guy Borden palette, the Stila Neutrals palette. Um, these are the contour kits from Anastasia. I have three of them. The Cover FX um, Highlighting Contour Kit and N Medium. Uh, the original Lorac Pro. I have, what's this? Oh, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour and Eye Palette. This is the regular one, and this is the Eye Palette. I have my new NYX Palette. My Urban Decay Electric Palette. This is a Z palette that I filled with some MAC blushes. Um, another MAC palette, MAC palette. Uh, what's this? A uh, Smashbox Full Ex Exposure palette. The Stila In The Know palette. The Chocolate Bar. The Urban Decay 1 and 2. These are mostly Makeup Geek shadows inside of a Z palette. My Meet Matte Nude, I love this one. Um, this one I actually never used. A few of my favorite things by Too Faced. I have to, you know, get my hands on this someday soon. Okay, all this is gonna fall. So this is the Kat Von D palette. It actually came with like 20 or 30 shadows in here for like 25 bucks. So that was a steal. And these are some more Mac um, shadows and blushes inside of another Z palette. And this is a Coastal Scents palette, the colorful one. Okay, so on this side of the desk, I have my beloved Holy Grail Olay 7-in-1 um, Daily Moisturizer. I use this pretty much every day and every night. It looks a little, you know, dingy right now, but that's because I use it so much. So I love this. Um, some beauty blenders, my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, and then some of my top nail polishes at the moment. So these are the nail polishes I've been loving. The Smashbox Primer Water, Fix Plus, Lassatan, however you say it, um, Hand Cream, my NARS, um, what's this called? Um, sharpener. Now, moving along, this chair I actually made myself, so yeah, I painted it. Um, this is where I keep my makeup, most of it. So. Right here, I actually got this mason jar from Red Lobster, <laughs> and I just put all my um, lip liners in it so it's easier to, to see. This is a little thing I got from, I believe, Target or Marshalls or something, and I just put a little bit of jewelry in it. This thing I got from Home Goods. This thing I also got from Home Goods, and then this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. The smell of this candle smells like a man's cologne, men's cologne. It smells amazing, so I love that. Okay, so in my first drawer, I keep all my foundations, um, my Holy Grail Estee Lauder foundations, Cover FX, Giorgio Armani, um, NARS, MAC, and then these are my favorite drugstore foundations right here, obviously. Um, so I keep all that right in this drawer. In the second drawer, I have all of my MAC um, face and bodies, which I absolutely love. Some mineralized skin finishes, some setting powders, pretty much all from MAC. Um, these two I got from the drugstore. They're good for um, contouring. I have the shade 330 and 355, uh, coconut and toffee. So these are good for contouring. Um, I have all the LA Girl Pro um, concealers, my NARS Translucent Crystal Powder, and then these are all my concealers right here, some MAC Pro Longwears, my trusty NARS, 
Urban Decay, NYX, you know, all that good stuff is right in there. And then some um, Ben Nye setting powders right over there. In the third drawer, this is where I keep my facial primers. Um, I have some lip glosses back here. My Agave lip mask, which, do you see how much I use this? I have um, all my eye primers, my paint pots, some eyeshadow primers, my eyebrow pencils, um, my Anastasia clear brow gel. So all that good stuff is right here. You guys like my slippers? <laughs> um, we already did that. In this drawer, this is all the eyeshadows that I have that don't belong in a palette. So pretty much anything that isn't in a palette is in this drawer. So I have my Stila uh, Magnificent Metals, my uh, Josie Marin Coconut Water Shadow, an empty MAC palette that I could put some eyeshadows in if I ever travel, um, which probably, you know, I'll never just bring four shadows. Some old wet and wild ones that I hardly use. I bought this one because of the color right here. I bought this color, this pan just because of this color, but um, the payoff of the color when you put it on your eye is not really that good. So it kind of just sits back there hanging out. My Makeup Geek Utopia pigment, um, my trusty ColourPop um, shadow, and this is in the shade Bandit. I have some new Urban Decay shadows, my Obsessive Compulsive um, pigments, and then these are my um, Makeup Forever Artist shadows. So I have this one, these, they're pretty much all neutral. These, this one's a little bit more colorful, and then that one. So I love those. I have some NARS ones as well. This little tiny bad boy, Persia, was uh, a lot of dough, um, so, but he hasn't been used yet. These are some duo ones. I have my Bobbi Brown and my uh, Kat Von D. And then I have some MAC pigments, some Naked, Copper Sparkle, um, this one right here, Gold, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, my MAC Mixing Medium. So that's what I have in that drawer. In this drawer, I keep all my mascaras, uh, my eyelash curler, an extra there real, all my eyeliner pencils are right here, my Maybelline Eye Studio liner, some extra House of Lashes lash glue because you can never have enough of that, um, and then some drugstore lashes back there. So this is what this drawer looks like. It's just bundled up in here. Is bundled even a word? Um, I don't know, but I have all these right here. Drugstore, Sets of Colors, Stilla, uh, Rimmel, Sephora, Gerard Cosmetics. This color is so nice. Um, Milani. And then in this little thing right here, I just keep my newer ones. So my Dose of Colors, some NYX Butter Glosses, ColourPop. Um, all my new, my new new is right in there. And then this drawer right here is all of my MAC lipsticks. I kind of don't know how to organize lipstick as, lipsticks as you can tell, um, but this is my MAC drawer. So I have all my MAC lipsticks right here. I'm, as you can see, I'm a little bit of a MAC lipstick hoarder. Um, so I have all of them right here, some limited edition ones, some regular ones, some more back there. Um, yeah, anything that wasn't in the other drawer is pretty much in here. Some other high-end ones, Stila, Makeup Forever, um, Too Faced, some Illa Masca one that Carla Cruz sent me, uh, my Kat Von D Lolita, and that's that drawer. So it's a lot. And then this drawer is where I keep all my bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. So. Highlighter sticks, the Josie Marin highlighter stick, this expensive ass Surratt blush, um, Milani, Becca, NARS, MAC, Limited Edition, Hourglass, the bronzer, um, Hula, my favorite, um, Illamasca, Lover blush is so, so pretty, um, Orgasm, pretty much all my blushes and stuff are right in here. 
And then my lash drawer is my lash drawer. And these are all my higher end lashes. So my Lena lashes, my House of Lashes, my MAC lashes, some Ardell's, Eyelor, um, everything is right in here. And then back here I just keep some extra makeup um, storage bags that are pretty cute. So I just keep them back here because, you know, I'll need them one day when I travel or something like that. So I keep those right there. Oh, please close. Okay. So that is my makeup um, storage and collection. That's how I keep my makeup. Um, let me know if you guys have any tips for me, ways that I can store things better. I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys next time.